January 23, Wednesday of the second week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark Jesus entered the synagogue. There was a man there who had a withered hand. They watched him closely to see if he would cure him on the Sabbath so that they might accuse him. He said to the man with a withered hand, Come up before us. Then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good in the Sabbath rather than to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent. Looking around at them with anger and grief at their hardness of heart, he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord To save life rather than destroy it While the Pharisees adhere to the strict observance of the law that prohibits work on the Sabbath, Jesus' gaze goes beyond the legal casuistry as he heals the man with a withered hand. It is an accepted principle among the Jewish rabbis that any danger to life takes precedence over the Sabbath. The Pharisees may argue that the man's ailment does not constitute a life-threatening situation and insist that no work should be done on Sabbath. Jesus chides them for their hardness of heart and for their insensitivity to the sufferings of people. For Jesus, any day is a good day to extend the mercy and compassion of God. The precept of Sabbath should not be interpreted as God's rest or a kind of divine inactivity. By its nature, the creative act which establishes the world is unceasing, and God is always at work. As Jesus declares in speaking on the Sabbath precept, My Father is at work until now, so I am at work. On Sunday, Christians celebrate and enjoy the liberating event of the resurrection of Jesus, a day of rest to make it holy, but also to experience solidarity with the brethren. This koinonia, Fellowship and communion is best experienced in the Sunday Eucharist.